You're watching WDSU News Channel 6 on your side. After sitting in a FEMA warehouse for months, millions of dollars in supplies to rebuild New Orleans have finally arrived in our city. So why did it take FEMA so long to correct the problem? And who will get the supplies now? WDSU News Channel 6 reporter Heath Allen is on your side live with the answers. That's tonight's big local story. Good evening, Heath. Uh, good evening, Camille. It was the news media that actually uncovered that Texas warehouse that housed millions of dollars in hurricane relief supplies. It should have been right here. Now, everybody is wondering how many more warehouses like that might be out there. This was broken by the news media. It's not like we went out looking for it. We never would have known. Never would have known about $85 million in disaster relief supplies sitting idle in a FEMA warehouse for two years. Now going to the people who need those supplies right here in New Orleans. I'm glad when we found out, we immediately tried to identify where the materials were because we know the need is still great. Can you believe this has been sitting in a warehouse somewhere? All that time, all that time, and all these people in the city of North have been needing all this stuff. Once homeless herself, Deborah Reed was recently housed and helped by the Unity Coalition and Volunteers of America. They all watched this afternoon as the trucks were offloaded. It's a blessing from the good Lord, huh? From the good Lord, unity, and volunteers of America, and the compassion of the people in New Orleans that helped the homeless under the bridge. And we are trying to scramble to get things, put eyes and ears together, and unbeknownst to us and, and the community, that there are resources sitting in warehouses that we could benefit from. Volunteers unloaded those trucks in a local warehouse. More should arrive next week. FEMA claims Louisiana repeatedly turned those supplies down. Not so, says the LRA's Paul Rainwater. We've not been able to find any letter that we received from FEMA two years ago that these, these goods and some, these uh, surplus goods ever existed. But this list came across in January. We will investigate. We will get to the bottom of it and try to salvage as much of this $85 million as possible. And this note tonight, the location of the warehouse where the supplies were brought to today remains undisclosed because that first shipment already called for. Back to you. All right, Heath. And by the way, this was just the first load of disaster supplies. More trucks will be rolling into town within the next couple of weeks.